Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To start off, again, we're going to be putting on some scotch tape on our eyelids. The idea is so that we get a nice crisp line when we apply our eyeshadows. As you can see, I put it from where my bottom lash line would extend up to my eyebrow. Now we're going in with a sample from the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer to prime our eyelids. And then we're going in with the Naked 3 palette. We're taking that color called Limit and we're applying that into our crease with the Sigma E40 blending brush. And you're going to have to go in several times just to build up the color. Next we're going in with the color called Buzz and we're going to be putting that on our eyelids using the brush that comes with the palette. Again, you're going to want to dip your brush back into the palette and reapply just to build it up to the color as intense as you'd like it. Next we're going to be using this color called Dark Side with an angled brush and we're going to be placing this directly in our crease. The idea is to get a nice crisp line so that we can have a cut crease. And I'm just going to be going back and forth, blending it in, making it as intense as I like it and flicking it out in the end to almost mimic a sort of wing. I'm going to be dipping my brush into the color Factory using a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to be going over that cut crease to blend out the color that we put down earlier. And you're just going to be blending it out back and forth to blend out that line and flick it out in the end to mimic that wing. Using the same E30 pencil brush, we're going to be going into the color Nooner and blending that line in even more. This is just a lighter color and the idea is to blend it upwards, not down towards the buzz color that we put on the pink color, but up into the crease to continue to blend it out and make it almost like a gradient effect. And using the same color Nooner, we're going to be taking the Sigma E25 blending brush and we're going to be blending that color above the crease to help the colors blend. And of course I'm going in with my Sigma E40 blending brush just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and everything is nice and blended. And I just go in with the same pencil brush with that color Factory and Dark Side. I mix them together to go over that line just to make sure that it's intense and crisp. Then I'm going to be taking the MAC Fix Plus, spraying my brush and I'm going to be applying that buzz color just to make it pop a little more in case that any of it faded once we were applying the other shadows. and then remove that tape and we are done with our eyes for now. Next we're going in with the L'Oreal Gel Liner in Espresso using my Magic Liner Brush that I'm obsessed with. This is the Real Technique Silicone Liner Brush. I'm going to be creating a thin wing. And then I'm going in with the Jordana Eye Pencil and my Scary Voodoo Eyes to line my upper waterline. Next we're going to be curling our eyelashes. This is to ensure that our real eyelashes blend nicely with the false lashes that we're going to be applying. And to achieve that, you're going to be applying a couple of coats of mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. And the lashes I'll be using are the Kiss in the style Dreamy. And this is just the way that I apply them. Um, it's very helpful to use a pair of tweezers to help get into the corners of your eye. To make sure all areas of the glue and or the lash band are hidden, I go in with the same gel liner to go over it just to make sure that no one can see. Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Miracle Blur Cream and I'm applying that as a primer prior to putting on my foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color W4 and I have to admit that this is probably my favorite drugstore foundation. And I'm just going to be applying that all over my face. Don't forget to get your neck because that ensures that you don't have a two-tone and you want everything to be blended nicely. This way it actually looks like your skin color. For 
For concealer, I'm, I forgot to show you a clip of what I'm using, but I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is also a great concealer also, and it's definitely worth trying. And I'm putting that under my eyes, on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and I'm using a pointed brush. I don't know what brush this is, but Sigma has a great brush. It's the F86, and I'm using that to blend all the areas in. And of course I go in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I dampen it, this way it expands and it's nice and soft. And I go over all of the areas to make sure it's nice and blended and it adds moisture so it's not cakey. Then using the Anastasia Contour Powder in Banana, I use that to set my under eye to make sure that the concealer doesn't crease. To set the rest of the foundation, I'm going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and an e.l.f. powder brush and applying it to all the other areas of my face. I'm going to be combing through my eyebrows and then you can see in fast forward my eyebrow routine. What I do is I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in dark brown to outline the top and bottom of my, of my brows and fill it in as much as I can, mostly by my tail. I try to leave the inner corner of my brows open to go in with the powder. And the next step is to take the Anastasia Duo Powder in dark brown on the Sigma brush, I believe it's number 18, and I use the darker color to outline and fill in the outer part of my brows, and then I take that lighter color and push it up and put it in the inner part of my brows so that they're not as dark and sharp towards the inner corner. And then to highlight, I'm taking that lightest color in the palette using an e.l.f. C shadow brush, and I'm going to be using that as my brow highlight. To warm up my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Powder in W7 on a Sigma F20 large powder brush, and I'm going to be using that on my cheekbones, the tops of my forehead, and under my chin. And this is just to warm up the face prior to contouring because, let's face it, I am pale. To contour, I'm going to be using Benefit Hula Bronzer with the NARS Ida Brush or Ida Brush. I'll never know how to pronounce it. And I'm just going to be using that to carve out the hollows of my cheeks and my forehead. Everywhere that we applied the True Match color to warm up our face, we're just going to be going in there to contour and make it a little more intense. This way we can look nice and thin. And then for blush, we're going to be using the Sigma blush in the color Serene, and I'm going to be applying that with my Sigma F40 Contour Blush Brush. This is a beautiful blush, and you can order off the Sigma Beauty website. And it pairs nicely with our eye look because it has a lot of pink and mauve undertones. As always, I like going in with my Sonia Kashuk Large Stippling Brush to blend out everything and make sure there are no harsh lines. And to highlight, I'm going to be using the Balm's Mary Luminizer and putting that on the high points of my cheekbones, on top of my eyebrows, and the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm going to be taking a Sigma E20 smudge brush and placing that color factor on the lower lash line. And to blend it out, I'm going to be taking that color Nooner on a pencil brush to blend it and smoke it out. But I don't want it to be too harsh under the under eye because I want the cut crease to be the most important focal point. To highlight the inner corner of our eye, I'm going in with that color trick on a pencil brush. For those bottom lashes, we're going to be going in with the Clinique Bottom Lash. And this does a really great job in separating those bottom lashes. Then we're going to go in with a nude eyeliner. This one is from Rimmel. I'm going to be putting that in our waterline. And to line our lips, we're going to be going with MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Morning Coffee. This is a gorgeous mauve brown color, and we're using that to line my lips and fill them in as well. This will help with the longevity of your lipstick, and it will make the lipstick look a little bit more opaque, which is what I'm going for. For lipstick, we're going to be going in with a matte lipstick. This is Velvet Teddy. It is a matte nude lipstick. It feels great on the lips, not too drying. 
And I also forgot to put mascara on my eyebrows. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama. Thank you so much for watching. If you decide to recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram. My name is at Joanna Perez Beauty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos that are coming up next. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Bye.